And in a decision led by Defense Secretary Leon Panetta, U.S. military's top generals voted unanimously to allow women to serve in active combat. WTV's Jacqueline Schutte joins us from our newsroom with more. Jackie? Thanks, Ben. A poll by ABC News revealed that 73% of U.S. civilians support that decision to allow women in combat. However, the poll also found that veterans who have served in active duty are unsure if it is the best interest of women for them to be there. Military officials said they believe this new policy will give women recognition for roles they are serving already in active duty on front lines. Those officials say front lines are not easily defined, which has allowed some women to already be serving in hostile situations in the Middle East. Dr. Penny Peer teaches gender equality classes at Wartburg and says the change in policy is a big step for women. This ends up being more of a formality than an actual reality. I think that we've had instances over the past 15 years in terms of our combat, especially in the Middle East, where women are serving in roles which inherently put them in active combat. Wartburg student and Sergeant Brian Lunsfoot served in the Marine Corps for five years, including 13 months in both Iraq and Afghanistan. I think it's funny that the government has chosen to uplift that ban now when we're, when Supposedly, President Obama is about to pull our troops out from the Middle East. He says the physical demands required of being in active combat are more difficult for women because of their physical build and biology. I don't think that there's things that men can do that women can't. When you're an infantryman, you're on the front lines. You're hiking up 10 miles a day. You're carrying so much more gear than what you're already, you know, than just your rifle. Some guys carry up to 150 pounds of extra gear. Sergeant Loons, who said active combat is an intense environment. Combat is, it's getting shot at, and it's shooting back, trying to kill the, or capture the enemy. It's getting blown up, it's getting your, it's seeing your friends, you know, your brothers, are dying right in front of you. And it's, uh, it's uncivilized, really. Combat is. Professor Pierce says this policy gives women currently serving in active combat recognition they deserve. It just levels the playing field more and it and acknowledges what we've known for a long time. Reporting for WTV News, I'm Jacqueline Schutte. Professor Pierce does agree that women and men do have different needs and cannot be treated the same. The integration of women in active combat will start as soon as May and be fully completed by 2016. Sergeant Loons Hoot said that although his five years in the Marines were the proudest moments of his life, they were intense. Ben, back to you. All right, thanks, Jackie.